All right, Aries, let me just preface this with this is a good thing. Some of you may not want to see it that way, but it's a good thing that you are being shown the truth of something. So the Queen of Light, illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. And this did show up as an ally for you, but then you have all that glitters. Now, when you look at all that glitters, it talks about a need to see beyond the superficial. The desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature. Trying to be something you're not and then chasing after every sparkly new thing. But when you look at the Queen of Light, this is trying to show you the truth. The truth of something that is not what it appears to be. I don't necessarily feel like some of you have been fake or being somebody that you're not. I don't think that that's it. I think that you got caught up in the glitter of something, so to speak. Someone or something looked really good, but you're about to be shown what's beneath the surface. But again, with the Queen of Light, it's a good thing. But think about it. If you've been focusing all of your attention onto something that is not a, as great as it appears to be, then you've been essentially shutting the door on anything good coming to you that is authentic, right? So it may suck a little bit. I kind of get that feeling, but I think that you're fine. You'll bounce back from it. But you need to see the truth, right? Now, from Moonology, and this I thought was interesting, and it could be because you're realizing that something is not, you know, as great as it was or what you thought it was. So first quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. It says, I am committed to my dreams and move towards them with confidence. So you may have hit a bump in the road where it's not actually leading you to your dreams here, but you can recommit yourself to what you actually want. It says the answer to your question is yes, but not yet. It says you're halfway to your goal. You still need to put in a bit more effort. And then it says sometimes we just need to realize how much we want something. It says you need to recommit to someone or something, but not to the fake, right? All right, Aries, here's your overall. Oh boy, the king of wands. Now, you know, if you are the king of wands right now, whether you're male or female, this is really good, right? Wisdom, confidence, passion, drive, seeking new adventures. I like him, though, because there is, you know, the wisdom when it comes to where your desires are leading you. But now for some of you, absolutely could be about a person that you're dealing with, could be another fire sign, male or female. And when you look at him, you are talking about the man of passion, attraction, right? Some of you may be feeling really good right now and you may be attracting people to you, you know, so we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Judgment. Yeah, I always think that this is interesting because a lot of times Aries doesn't like to go back to the past, you know, but this doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. But in terms of Aries and the way that I see it, it's, it is what it is. I already laid that down. So why is it coming back? But when you look at judgment, it's going to be one of those things that you thought was, you know, over and done with, but is coming back in such a way that you're going to have to review it again, right? Did you make the right assessment about something in the past? You know, are you looking at it differently now? Or is it just something that's being resurrected for you? You know, oh boy, and hope is being restored in it. That's interesting. The star, wow. And, you know, the bigger picture, right? Where are your dreams? What are you committed to? You know, bigger and better with the star. But again, the healing of a situation, but I also think hope being restored in something that I think you thought was like, okay, well, it's just, it's not going to happen. Right? So I lay it down, but surprise, surprise, here we go again. <laughs> it's not necessarily a bad thing though. The future conditions, the nine of pentacles. So for some of you, it could straight up be about, you know, you looking at bigger and better because you found a sense of self or found a sense of independence i wanted to say self-worth and i think it's you know because of the king of wands being the overall here but you're definitely talking about being in a place of you know being financially good right some of you are happy being single some of you may feel like i have everything i could ever want right here you know now with the star though in looking at judgment i mean all of it looks really good i think that in terms of your career 
an opportunity may be coming back around here. And it may be that big opportunity that you wanted. And it may create some more financial success. For some of you, though, I kind of get the feeling that you're wanting to remain separate from a situation. Like you don't want to be exactly tied down into it. But there's hopefulness with the star, though. <laughs> Aries, I love your readings. It's one of the reasons why I used to start with Aries every time. But I can understand the frustration for poor Pisces because they're always last. But Aries, you know, the energy that you bring is like incredible here. The sun being your best path to follow. New energy, new life, feeling good, looking good. But seeing things very clearly, you know, and again, light and illumination for sure, for sure. And like I said, I don't think that you're not, you're not being something that you're not, okay? So you're not trying to be fake or disingenuous, but you need to step into the light, right? And right, the sun is a star. It's so nice, Aries. It's not bad at all. But I'm curious about judgment here. Okay. The Seven of Wands. Now, if, if this is about something that, you know, you kind of like put down and thought that it wasn't a possibility for you, you know, you, first of all, I think are, are great on your own right now. You're good. You're successful, right? You're standing in the spotlight, so to speak here. But when we're talking about like hope being restored, it's something that I think that you may have like fought your yourself against. Like, how do I put this? No, I can't let this back through. I, I can't, right? That's not something that I should let back through. But if hope is being restored to you, it may be one of those things where, you know, you're not wanting to fight it off anymore. Now, on the other hand, when you're looking at the Seven of Wands, you're talking about needing to speak up for yourself and fight against opposition, especially when it comes to your hopes in a big way with the star. But it could be, you know, that you're speaking up for someone else, though, and defending someone else, which is possible. You know, but I don't know. I kind of get the feeling because of how you move into the Nine of Pentacles. I get the feeling that if hope is being restored in something that you wanted to lay to rest and it's coming back around, I think that there is a part of you that may be like wanting to fight it off or wanting to fight someone even though there's the passion and the attraction there and everything looks really good, right? But really, you know, when it comes to your hopes, though, the Seven of Wands is basically saying that you're not going to deal with any shit getting in your way, which is great. Oh, boy. I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling that it was more than that. Your hopes and your fears, the lovers. And then you have the Man of Passion which could absolutely represent you. But like I said, it could be because of a person. Oh, okay. I think that there is something about, for those of you who are looking at love, I think that there's something about a person that you're not exactly happy with because of the seven of wands being in your environment. But there may be something that you're trying to keep yourself separate from, but you don't want to give up though either because you may have a hope for somebody and it may be because they're, are, they're connected somewhere else, which is possible, right? But with the lovers other than that, we're talking about you making major choices in your life, temptation or moral high ground, right? But you are standing in the light. <coughs> now that could just be, you know, choices in your life in terms of work in in things like that in your success definitely with the nine of pentacles but you know choices in relationships though too right and some of you may be hoping for that kind of a connection and that may be what's being restored but you're gonna have to fight for it and that i think is something that you know i don't know that some of you are ready to be a part of because you know independent from is what i'm getting with the nine of pentacles because you're good on your own though. But is it the gilded cage? You know, do you think that you have everything that you need and you can't make a choice in terms of someone? Wow. And then coming out the world. 
So getting closure on the situation that is coming back through, but in a way that is successful for you, the world is always a good thing. Now, in terms of work, if you're just making a major choice to follow something that you love and have a passion for, you're going to be extremely successful. You look really good, Aries. Now, if we're talking about relationship here in love, in a very significant relationship, I think that whatever has been opposing having hope in this is going to come to an end in a very good way where things will be successful. But we're still looking at you wanting to maintain, you know, your independence. Some of you may not want to be single anymore, but you still want to be able to have, you know, your own freedom, right? The Four of Cups. It's never a good thing when we're talking about Aries and Aries being bored or disinterested or dissatisfied. It's never a good thing. But I think that for a lot of you, this is why this is resurfacing. For some of you, you may have lost, you know, interest somewhere else. And something that, you know, you called in the past is now kind of like coming back up. But, you know, it, it is in a way that I think it was meant to happen, if that makes sense. And, you know, with the star being there again, we're having that hope restored because you're wanting to have at least some kind of like stability, right? With the four of wands. The fours are going to be about stability anyway. And it's interesting because your card rules the fours. So the emperor rules that kind of stability and order out of chaos. But when you look at the four of wands, you're talking about celebration. And that could be because of a commitment that's made. You may be wanting to build your life with someone, looking at the lovers, which is possible. But I think that what you want more so than anything is stability and not having to fight against any opposition when it comes to, you know, what would make your wishes come true with the star, right? And bring you that kind of fulfillment that you were lacking in the past. You know, you may have not had, you may not have had interest in this before, but it's being brought back up. And then you have this opportunity with the Ace of Cups and yeah, we are talking about love, <laughs> right? But it's only after there is closure on an issue that I think it does not really have anything to do with you, if that makes sense, because of the Nine of Pentacles. I need to, to remain independent from it, but I'm not going to let anything oppose this, even though I may have been opposing myself when it comes to wanting this or hoping for, you know, this new start with this. And with the Ace of Cups, emotional fulfillment is going to be the big thing right there, something that's going to make you happy. Going from the world to the Ace of Cups, perfect. It's perfect. I just think that for you, making a really big commitment is not like in the cards here, right? But making a small one in terms of the Four of Wands, I think you're okay with. But you need to have some kind of, you know, emotional beginning here, something that makes you feel, you know. But it all looks really good, Aries. But, you know, again, right, like, your commitment is being tested, but something is not what it appears to be, and that light is being shown to you, but it is in such a way that I think it creates hope. And then you have tranquility. Perfect, right? And with the star being there, yeah, yep. And I would say that detachment, too, though, is, you know, don't get involved in fights that, that aren't yours, for sure. Because that new beginning is still coming to you, if you so choose. But I look at that and think, detach yourself from, you know, a specific outcome that you may be focused on. You know, realize what the purpose for this is, and then you will find tranquility. I want to hear all about it. I want to hear all about it. Please, please. I live vicariously through you guys when shit like this happens. This is one of my favorite cards. The Union of Hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. You can't explain it, but it is a union that can't be denied. And, right, like, come on now. <laughs> Aries, for love, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. But have faith. Have faith in that, that union, right? If you feel like you have that connection there, even if there is opposition to it, have faith that it'll work out. Wow, I want to hear all about it. You guys tell me all about it. I want to hear about all the good things that come through. 
And it may start with you realizing that you're dealing with someone that is not as great as they appear. And once that light is shown, you know, maybe that's where something from the past is coming back up. You may not have had had any interest in it before or didn't think it was good enough in terms of relationships, but oh boy, <laughs> it's coming back in a really big way. And that Ace of Cups with the world is perfect. 